What's going on guys? It's Danny here and this is going to be a phase 4 updated Dire Mall East farming video. Lushers solo as a priest. First I will go through the gear because I have gotten gear upgrades. I've gotten rank 14 gear and overall my gear is really sick for this. It's really good gold per hour for me this right now. Um, here is the spell blade and my HP is at about 5500 unbuffed. And mana is 7200 unbuffed with 432 spell damage. So, this is the set, this is the items I am using for farming Dire Mall East. This is a lot more gold per hour than before. And at the end of the video, after a quick run, I will show you two pictures, examples of different farming sessions with full bags and how much gold per hour they made. There are three really big differences since the previous video of farming here first is my gear that i already showed the second is blackwing lair is in the game now as well and there is this trinket aegis of preservation this is what makes the pool of four packs of lashers possible as soon as we drop down here we're gonna pull four packs of lashers you guys will see how crazy this is this gives you more armor so more tanky and also you heal for 35 every time you take damage. So the Lashers will hit me somewhere from between 50 and 70 damage. And this will heal me from for 35 for each single Lasher that hits me. So if you don't have Aegis of Preservation yet from Blackwing Lair, try to get it as soon as you can. And the third thing is that I started killing Hydro Spawn, the Water Elemental boss. You guys will see that as well because we're about to do a quick full run right now. Okay, so start the timer and we're ready to go. Right after a reset, you know, there is a patrolling mob that starts from there. If you go right away, you will be able to go through before he reaches you. And here, renew as I'm falling down, curbing immediately. And letting the renew heal me up. I don't have herb tracking, okay. And while I'm casting the greater heal here, I take a look at the map. If I have stuff to herb in here in this area at the start or in that area over there in front i will do it now because i won't come back here later uh so there is nothing to herb in that in that part and we can just straight up start the pulls rank one shadow word pain very convenient very nice to use i will gonna wait and show the example so this patrol goes very far away and this is when we want to pull the first pack. When the patrol is on the way back, it's a little bit of a risk because the mobs might run into the patrol. But it stops here and then it goes away again. So when these guys are on their way away from here, then we pull. Rank 1 Shadow Word Pain, very convenient, barely costs any mana and it's instant. I don't have to stop to wand to pull, so I'm taking damage from uh, the Lashers in the meantime. So pull and run careful with this death lash as well so let them catch up on me a little bit don't make them pull it and then continue fast pull this i already shielded myself just to let weaken soul uh, tick down and it's going to be up for when i want to tank them a little bit and here we have the fourth pack pre-renew reshield again he just trinket pi and start aoeing them sometimes and it depends on how much HP, how much armor you have. You might have to pop uh, Aegis of Preservation Trinket a little bit earlier to tank the first three packs that you pulled um, until the fourth one connects. That one takes uh, a few seconds to connect to the other three. So you might have to pop Aegis a little bit earlier. Aegis is not needed for the full duration anyway. The elites will die to Holy Nova with PI pretty quickly i mean not the elites the lashers there's one green item cool one fade leaf is nice oh mushroom is sick as well and here loot everything very quickly if you have to do casts remember from previous video if you have to do casts uh renew inner fire and renew yourself if you need healing then do it immediately after you're done with holy nova and before starting to loot so, you know, that way you let your mana region and then you have to drink less. It's an efficiency thing. Now I have to drink a bit less because how much mana I regent while I was looting. And swapping to Zandalarian Hero Charm 
ZHC. I use Aegis of Preservation only on the very first pull of four packs. Here, this pack, I will drag it with me depending what the situation is here. So there's a Grom Grom's Blood to pick up here. So I'll drag the pack of Flushers here. Kill them, loot them, check the book spawn in the meantime. No book to loot over there. If there is no book for me to loot and there is no herb for me to pick up in this area, then I will drag this pack of Flushers over there at that big tree. So I'm uh, ready to continue to the next pool a little bit sooner. But here I will kill them, then uh, I will do Grom's Blood. And I forgot to mention there are two. I will go back a little bit, which slows me down on the run, but I'm showing stuff, so it's normal for it to be a bit slower. That spawn over there, there is a spawn of Dreamfoil next to that Deathlash. I start skipping it. And there is a Grom's Blood right in between these two death lashes as well. Did it spawn? That's Dreamfoil. Grom's Blood right here that spawns. I started skipping those. I will explain in a couple minutes why. Let's continue very fast. So drink up to full. Um, PI is always ready for the next pool of two packs. I don't hesitate to use uh, Zandalarian Hero Charm on cooldown, it's only 2 minute cooldown and I stop to drink for about 30 seconds after everything I kill, so ZHC use it as much as possible. Okay, when they go away now, we pull. I have already explained this stuff uh, in previous videos, but... You know, might want to explain it again anyway. Rank 1 Shadow Word Pain, very convenient. Here on this video I'm putting like um, attention to the new, the new things. You guys already saw the pack of 4 Lushers, 4 packs pull. So PI, ZHC, everything. The pool of 4 earlier. And, uh, and then you will guys see the boss kill as well. Those are the new things. But I wanted to show a full run anyway. Because I've done other little adjustments as well. Efficiency things. Ideally, one run with a boss kill is about 12 and a half, 13, maybe up to 14 minutes sometimes. And one kill without boss is 10, 10 and a half minutes. One run, I mean. So while I'm killing this lasher is here, I check for the book spawn, no book spawn. And I also look for uh, herbs if I have to pick in this side. I pick them now. Now is the time. Anything that spawns in here in front? Yeah. Okay. If I have too much water on me, I can even do some uh, drinks on the tick of the server. And regen a lot of mana as I'm running. I'm not gonna do too many runs. This is just to record the run. You can even stop and drink. And there is the dream file here. The reason why I skip Grom's Blood here and Dreamfoil if it spawns at the start is because it requires a reset on these mobs specifically these mobs here you can see the patrol I can uh, pull the patrol accidentally or when I do fear the death lashes I make them run far and fast so many times I have died because I had I feared the death lashes into something else and they run to me really quickly they stunned me, slowed me, dazed me and you know i'm a priest i have to face tank everything i'm not like a mage who can nova them and kite them and reset them that easy so i have to take their hits and elites hit too hard for me so i decided to start skipping those also resetting itself takes a minute minute and a half uh, when i go on top of the pillar the mobs like you know stand in front of me looking at me for a little bit before they reset so, also, uh, there is a very low chance that my fear will resist. So then I will not be able to even pick the herb until fear is ready again. Anyway, stopping to drink here before this pillar somewhere. Because of this guy, nice that this guy came out, shows the example. <laughs> this uh, stealthed shadow stalker, he comes up to patrol outside to here, don't want to run into him with no mana, so I stop to drink here, 
And we're ready to continue. Don't need completely full mana to kill him. And I'll pop ZHC. If I have the distance, if I catch him running away like this, um, I will do an inner fire. It's a long cast, but it's a lot of damage. And it also leaves this little 60 damage uh, dot. And then I will shield myself to prevent pushback on smite. Or I will not shield myself if the mob crits me. Because I have martyrdom talent and if he crits me, uh, I will have free casting. And um, we continue here. Let's see if there is an elite to kill here. No elite spawn here. Sometimes you guys know in, from previous video. It can spawn one more demon on that corner. No mushroom to pick up in there either. There is a mushroom on spot number three all the way up. Nice, this is good. We can have a full run with boss kill and going all the way up. It's probably going to take about 15 minutes. Maybe longer because I took extra time on stuff. So drink up here. Um, it's very comfortable to pull the boss now when he is over there in that corner but i'm gonna wait when he's on the bad corner just to show the a little bit harder example the trick with this hydro spawn boss is to get him up on this ramp so pi big holy fire and dot as well and i step back a little bit so then he comes up on the ramp and now when i go down in the water he goes on that side and that's where we want him all the time and avoid his cast very important so los his cast on the pillar basically when i'm up when i'm up on the ramp be careful here when i'm up on the ramp the boss comes to me he's up on the he goes up on the ramp as well and comes to me when i'm down in the water he goes away from me so i want him to come and then on his way uh, on his way out i will do a smite okay so the little hydro links uh they are much faster than the boss i don't mind them um i can even take hits from them i can shield and whatnot they die to a couple dot ticks i just care about kiting the boss properly don't mind the the stuff the little hydro links so i have had the boss pulling the imps multiple times and, and dying here los and it's very important to los his cast because um because that's a knock and that knock can knock you into the and into the imps and you will die so now the boss drops a lot of hp he becomes really slow okay so now i can just do and tank the push and i can do one one hit any good drops elemental water not bad one gold elemental water and the boots are one gold 61 silver worth it's fine and now remember that there you can have a extra demon spawning here is not here so i can drink in the corner and this is 13 minutes and 14 seconds okay this is gonna be about 15 minutes total run i don't need completely full mana to kill one demon elite there is one left which patrols inside and outside until here somewhere so i'm just gonna run into him pi i use it even on the very last mob i kill before reset because three minute cooldown i have only one account and i have to log out of this character and log into another character that uh, is on the same account so it takes a couple minutes for the leader to be passed to the other character to reset my dungeon you know how it goes so when i log back in pi will be ready the three minute cooldowns will be ready if i need them and don't forget to swap back to aegis before logging out here i forget sometimes and i die after a reset, I do a pack of four lashers and and I realize I don't have Aegis. <laughs> so we go all the way to the end. Pick up the herb. 
the, the Grom's Blood, the Mushroom, I mean. And that's a 15 minute run exactly. Well, this run was a little bit slower because I stopped to show things. And normally I would not have done boss in this run. Why? This is what I wanted to explain. What decides for me? To kill Hydro Spawn or not? He can drop really good stuff. He can drop class books. There is a weapon that he can drop for 5 gold and a half that sells 5 gold weapon to the vendor. And also he can drop elemental water, which is 7 or 8 gold, depends on your server. Uh, it's like 16% chance. So the boss drops good loot, but it takes a bit too long for me. So I kill it basically every second run, just to avoid getting locked. A clean run where... I have to run all the way up here to the mushroom and that's another deciding thing for me um, is about 10 minutes 10 minutes and a half if i have to come up here for this mushroom i will not kill hydro spawn but if i have to do a very early logout and i see that my run will be about 10 minutes sometimes even faster then i will kill hydro spawn just to not get locked so how much gold per hour is this actually nowadays in phase four it's actually really good for me it ends up at about 90 gold per hour or more if i do clean runs so in the picture of the left everything was 359 gold and one silver divided by three that's 119 gold and 67 silver but i also have it divided by four below because i didn't take three hours to do that i took almost four i died because it was my first session dire mall east farming after months without doing any the picture on the right was a more clean three hour farming session that one is 12 runs normally for me sometimes the bags get full with 11 runs if i'm lucky with a lot of green drops and whatnot and the one on the right made 313 gold total which divided by three is 104 and 33 silver per hour so it's pretty simple the way i separate them in two parts on top you have the one in white which is everything that i vendor and then at the bottom in uh, the red circle is everything that i would put on the auction house to sell to other players so all the herbs one of the biggest reasons this is a lot more gold per hour now is all the herbs are a lot more expensive um, everything on the picture of the left everything that i would put on the auction house is 267 gold um, and 72 silver to total and also we have three or two gold i don't know exactly how much but two or three gold from the demons from just raw silver looted from them and also i did have two you can see two uh, that are rare rare and they are not super cheap either on the left is the book for the warrior quest or paladin that you can get quelserar from that used to be 1k gold at first when <laughs> uh, dire mall was added in the game now it's about 70 gold or so and on the right i got a traveler's backpack between 20 25 gold depends on your server the mitrio log boxes on the right i got four i put them as a question mark um some people calculate like one gold per mitrio box i don't include them at all i just put a question mark because inside if i'm lucky i can get something that's worth 200 gold and well that increases my gold per hour a lot but you know it could also be something that's worth 30 silver so i just put a question mark and move on also something for me as a priest specifically from the demon elites that i'm killing they drop demonic runes that doesn't make gold because they are not boe but that saves me gold if i was to buy for my raiding as a discipline healer if i was to buy dark runes from the auction house it's 10 to 15 gold each so yeah so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful don't forget to subscribe to the channel i upload quite a lot of stuff in here i also stream on twitch so don't forget to follow me on twitch and check out the stream as well i will see you in the next video have a nice day or we could also throw in a few fails before the outro and now we pull the third pack as well just so the shield comes off cooldown my debuff i mean and i'll pop the aegis trinket earlier when i have to tank okay this is very risky this is not i don't have i didn't have aegis equipped <laughs> pre-shield here 
first shield before I pull the second pack, pull the third pack, and pull the fourth pack. Now, I pulled this somehow. Man, fuck me. And then I continue pulling the second pull and the third pack. Careful with this death lash here on the left as well. And the last pack is that one. And I don't have Aegis Trinket again. Oh, I can't kill them without it. I'm not a tank. I'm not a warrior to tank so much. And I'm not a mage to Nova them. Please, Danny, stop forgetting the Aegis. Equip it. 